Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Skillsetco. In the last video, we have seen how to get a data from a database. So we have used uh, in-memory database provided by the Spring Boot that is H2 and we have used CRUD repository to get the data directly from the repo database. We have not written any query. We just created an interface extends CRUD repository and we have provided the table name and the primary key type. So that's it. We just need to call a method it will get data from the database we don't need to write any query so for getting a data first we need to keep some data before so that we can get so we created a data.sql file and we have written for sample three insert queries and we have a controller and we have a method get mapping inside this we used repo what we have created here student repo and there is a direct function if we call we will get all the data from the database we don't need to write any query and we have we are returning this as a string so in this video we will see how to get a data in a json format and how to get a list of students here we will return a list of students instead of a string so that list of strings will be converted into directly json and we will get the json response so we will run this one and see the output just launching the application and we can access it 8080 port localhost 8080 students so students is the url mapping what we have done here so just enter so you can see we got all the data in a string format not in a json format so we have also accessed this url from the postman just click so we got this data so now we will use instead of here we extends crud repository so instead of crud repository we will use jpa repository where we will get more features if you observe here find all what this method returns it returns iteratable student but we want directly list of students so that can be possible with a jpa repository so let's go to here first let's extend jpa repository instead of crud repository so jpa repository so here if you can see open jpa repository so there is no source but if you see jpa internally extends crud repository it also extends some sorting method so that it will get all the features which is provided by the CRUD repository also and JPA provides an extra facility so now just call find all now you can see it is providing a list of students not the iteratable so we can directly call no need to convert into a string and we can change the return type as list of students and now we will execute this and see whether we will get a normal string data or a json data let's relaunch the app so here the application got started started application and let's access it from push so before we are so before extending jpa repository we are getting this data in a string format now let's run it again so now you can see we got a proper json response student id student name score so these are the three data we have kept it using a data.sql file here and what we have done for the repository we just extended jpa repository instead of cut repository and the magic is we got a json response you can see we got the json response now if i want only particular student details so if i pass the id 101 i need to get only the student id with 101 i don't want all these details so what i need is suppose if i do this url 101 i need to get these details let's run this so presently we have not implemented this url let's implement this url and let's get the proper data of student so let's go to our code go to controller here students returns 
all the student details but we want a particular student details let's, let's have a separate api which will return student get details so here the url mapping is this is also a get mapping where we will get data from database we are not updating anything and the url we want is students and 101 so here let's use repo return repo find by id so find by id and we will pass the id that is 101 so here if you see what is returning it's returning optional student it means if the student is present with 101 it will return student otherwise it will return null so let's change the return type also to optional student and let's relaunch this app and let's access this url to get the particular details so the application got started and let's send this request see now you can see we got the students data so here the problem is if you want the student data with 102 if you want student data is 103 we need to implement all the apis here so that is not the case we can generally do here we can keep we can keep a placement like id and we can pass any value here the student id and we need to fetch this value to a variable let's initialize a variable sid and we need to map this sid to this value so this value will get into this variable so we need to have param path variable path variable and the variable name is id so if we pass 101 here the 101 will get into this sid and we can use this sid here so before implementing that if you try to access student details with 102 we won't get but once we relaunch this app we will get all the students data so let's access it now if you see we got the student details with 102 id if we change to 103 we got student details with 103 and if we change to 101 we got 101 so this is the power of this placement so i hope you like this video and understood in the future videos we will how to post the data with the post request and how to insert a data into a database and how to update the data in a database using a put request please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching